guys, thanks for joining us for another Dutch oven meal. Tonight we're going to be cooking up uh, ham and our gratin potatoes in the Dutch oven. Get the briquette started up here. Kristen's in the background cutting some stuff up, cutting some ham, onions, and potatoes up. So we're going to heat these up and put the Dutch oven on, get it warmed up, and get to cooking. So see you in a bit. All right, we preheated the Dutch oven. I'm gonna throw a little bit of Crisco in there. And then we're gonna throw in our onions and get them babies sauteed up. And that'll be the first process. So after we get all this Crisco in here, throw the onions in. Yeah, stir them around a little bit. Shouldn't take that long and we'll move on to the next step, guys. All right, the onions are all sauteed up here. We're gonna put three uh, tablespoons of flour in there. Oh. One, that's oh. three there. <laughs> we're gonna mix that up. We just eyeball it. And then we are going to add the milk in and stir that. It's two cups of milk. Two cups of reduced what? That milk. It didn't say. I just grabbed a two percent. Okay. And then we'll, we'll just let this simmer up for. Simmer for just a couple minutes, and then we'll add the ham and the potatoes. And we're gonna put the breadcrumbs and cheese right on top. Okay. So we'll let this cook up a little bit. All, All right. right. We got our simmer going on here. So we're gonna season it up with a little bit of salt and pepper. says to taste, so we'll just sprinkle a little bit in there. Yeah, a bit. And then there's some pepper. Alright, stir that up. And then we're just going to add the potatoes and the ham. Starting, sorry. Potatoes and the ham right away. It was uh, two cups of ham. And three cups of potatoes. Three cups of potatoes, two cups of ham. How many onions again? It was one onion, one onion. or a half a, a half a to one onion. Okay. And we're gonna stir this up and wellly coat everything. Then after we get everything put together, we're gonna cook, cook it for 20 minutes. But uh, this time we'll remember to check it periodically so we don't have another disaster. So. <clears throat> and then says to sprinkle the cheese and the breadcrumbs on top. It's a cup of cheese. Zoom in a little bit. Which is half of this because this is two things of cheese. Or two right. cups of cheese. Alright, and then it is two tablespoons of breadcrumbs, which I'm just gonna sprinkle just to cover the top. Mmm, ham, potato, gratin. All right, we'll put the lid on here and let it cook up for about 20 minutes. And we'll show you what it looks like about halfway in here. Right, get this on here, all right. Hey, I forgot to mention we're gonna add a couple briquettes on the top too to cook up the top a little better. So I'm just gonna add about four or five briquettes up on here. Just so you guys know to add a couple briquettes on top if you want to make this recipe. Okay, we decided to add a little bit more breadcrumbs on there just to give it a little bit more texture. There we go, that should be good. Yeah, even a little bit more. Alright, we'll see you when it's done. Alright, everything's all cooked up there. We have, have it off the briquettes, gonna let it cool down a little bit. It looks really good, doesn't it? It does. I just got a big whiff of it and it smelled very good. All right. Not burnt too crisp. No, oh, that's awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, hey, everyone. It's still a little hot. You think, you think I'm, I got a pretty hot piece, but it's pretty good. It's a new uh, spin on a gratin potatoes. I've never had it quite like this. I love it. It's German to me and I love it. <laughs> so if you guys like our gratin potatoes, I'd give this a try. It's pretty good. I enjoy it. So 
Yeah. Well, make the dog, dogs jealous a little bit. Mmm. Pretty good. I can't wait for leftovers. Leftovers. <laughs> so if you guys like our ground potatoes, yeah, give this one a shot. I'm sure you'll like it. Thank you for watching. See you guys. Bye.